hey y'all welcome or welcome back to another vlog my name is alexandria if you're new here i would love for you all to hit that subscribe button so y'all won't miss when i post a new video so as y'all can tell from the title of this video today is my birthday well not today tomorrow is my birthday march 21st but we are celebrating today so i'm about to get ready for dinner and i'm I'm gonna do a little chit chat get ready with me so if you're interested to see how I do my makeup or if you just want to get in my business keep watching One, two, three, four. mask on my lips this is my favorite lip mask So I like to prime with Boskia. I think that's how you say it, Boskia, Boskia. It's really good for people who have oily skin. I have very oily skin. My face is really oily. So it really helps my foundation and my face not be, you know, so oily. And this really helps my makeup last for a long time. Like, I've not, I've not, not been using this. So yeah, y'all, I don't even know where to start. I mean, 27 was really great for me. Um, you could say I I, I grew some, you know. Um, I'm definitely like accomplishing things now. I feel like it's like later in my life and I'm just now like accomplishing things. I feel like I probably should accomplish years ago. But it's not a race, okay? It's not a race. But it just sucks when kind of like everyone is around, everyone around you has like these expectations for you right so with that said i am finally about to graduate with my undergraduate degree um in biology i'm so y'all i'm so proud of my biology degree i feel like i've never worked this hard for something ever and i'm finally about to graduate <laughs> I've been waiting on this my whole life. I feel like this is like one thing that's kind of like been holding me back from like living my best life. Like I've, I've had this one little obligation, this one goal that I'm supposed to, um, you know, check off my list before I really start living life. But honestly, I've definitely lived life thus far but i just feel like now that i have my degree it's gonna open up you know more opportunities for me because i do want to actually go back to school so i got my eyebrows on okay got my eyebrows on I got engaged right and honestly like my man he did it so perfectly um my family was there my friends were there um not all of my friends but like you know the people that I love who are like closest to me where they definitely found their way there and then the ones that wanted to be there they weren't able to make it but that's cool um so yeah, that was like a big moment for me because y'all know me and Ryan have been together for so long. So your girl has been waiting patiently on her ring. Um, so I finally got that. Um, definitely a highlight of my life. Um, also, I do feel like I traveled quite a bit last year. Or I wouldn't say traveled. I did a couple of things here and there, you know. But I did do a little bit for what I could do. Being that I am a full-time student. I'm 27. I'll be 28 tomorrow. And, like, I'm just now about to complete my undergrad. That's, like, one thing I have to look forward for this year is getting my degree. After changing my major changing universities um i really had to sit down and figure out you know exactly what i wanted 
and exactly how I was going to maneuver about, you know, life. I feel like whenever you're younger, you know, 18, 19, even 20, I mean, like you're, there's so much structure in your life, right? And then like you lose that structure because like you're an adult now and you go out into the world by yourself and it's like your job to like find yourself. Your girl wasn't trying to hear none of that. I was trying to like live my best life. So that's why I'm just now finishing my little degree or whatever. Well, not little degree. Ain't nothing little about my degree, but getting engaged. I was literally waiting to get engaged forever. I'm ready for Ryan to pop that question for me. And I'm just so happy because he did it in the most perfect way. I mean, like I was surrounded with my family and my friends and his mom was there. So like that, that was really sweet. And um, his best friend was there. Um, which that's like my other brother now. I mean, he's just like a part of the family. Um, so that was just really sweet. And then of course my mom, my dad, my brother, two of my brothers were actually there. Um, my best friend, yeah, her mom was there. So it just really meant a lot, you know, for people to show up for you. And then I ended up losing my engagement ring. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> that's like a whole story. I don't even know if I really want to get into that because that would take up the whole rest of this video. Um, I guess I could try to make it quick. Basically, one morning I got up, talked to my friend on the phone. I talked to my friend on the phone, grabbed my gym bag to go to the gym, went to the gym, worked out at the gym, came home, showered, and then I proceeded to cook. It was then that I realized, well, I was actually about to do like a boomerang on my phone. And so it was then that I realized that I did not have um, my engagement ring on. So I'm like, oh, okay, let me go get my engagement ring. Um, when I take my jewelry off, I put it in the same place every time. Um, or when I take my ring off, I put it in the same place every time. And the only time I would be taking my ring off would be to, um, take a shower. Like after I take a shower, I use a lot of like heavy butters and creams on my body. So I don't like it getting all up in my ring and whatever, whatever. So I take my ring off. Um, this particular day, I don't necessarily remember taking my ring off at all. So I'm kind of like scrambling around, you know, looking everywhere that I guess my ring would be. Literally could not find it. Could not find it. A week before that, I got really, really sick. Like so sick. I was like in the bed for a week. I lost so much weight. I was weighing like... 109 pounds or like 113 pounds and i normally weigh like 122 125 that was a huge difference like i'm not supposed to be weighing that much i wasn't eating um and so i lost so much weight so anyways um ryan comes home from work and um he can immediately sense that Something's wrong with my girl. And of course something was wrong with me. I'm like running around, looking under everything, panicking. And he's like, what are you looking for? And I'm just like, nothing, you know, nothing. I'm just, um, nothing. I'm just like acting like I'm looking for nothing. And so time had passed. I called the front office. They're like, we didn't see anyone go in there. And I'm like, fuck, I can't find my ring. And finally I just tell Ryan, and he like helps me look for, he's like asking me all these questions. I literally started crying and I think I basically fell into a depression. <laughs> is, that, is that weird that I lost an expensive piece of jewelry and then I, all of a sudden I get depressed? Like, I don't know what was going through my, at that time I was like, damn how 
did I lose my engagement ring? Ryan and I, we have a ring camera. So that's another thing, y'all. We have a ring camera. And I just swear up and down that my ring was on my finger when I came back from the gym. Um, so yeah, I just like went into like this depression. I did not want to do anything. I did not want to go anywhere. I did not want to post any pictures or anything because I did not want anyone to question me about my ring or ask me where my ring was or anything to do with my ring. I just, I just wanted to like not forget about it, but like I was embarrassed y'all. I was embarrassed and honestly only like one person asked me about my ring and I lied about it. Honestly, I was like, oh, I needed to get it resized. So I'm just waiting for my ring to come back. But I mean, whatever. I was just embarrassed. <laughs> I was just embarrassed. I can laugh now um, because time has went on. It's been a year. I, I guess I, I'm telling the story all wrong. Long story short. Couldn't find the ring. Would y'all tell me this if you're a guy watching? I don't think maybe guys watch <laughs> my videos. But if you're a guy, would you have gotten your woman another ring? Or would you have been like, if that? Or are you a woman that has been through, you know, something similar? Like, has your man lost his ring? Did you get him another one? Did he have to buy himself another ring? Um... How did that work out for y'all? So yeah, Ryan ended up getting me another ring and I was happy, you know, I had it, another ring, um, perfect. And of course, um, I got it in another size. So I did have to get like a size down or like a half a size down because like I said, I lost all of that weight. And I'm not sure, I don't know what was wrong with me y'all, so. I had my ring for like two weeks, maybe like three weeks. And um, Ryan and I were getting ready to move. And we moved into like a larger apartment. We just needed a, a more space. And <laughs> it's so funny y'all, cause we had movers and everything. We only moved apartment, like units. Like we live in the same building, but we live like in a different, a larger unit. Like, you know, let me, let me make sure that, you know, everything is out of the apartment. This is after, you know, everything is out of the apartment at this point. Apartment people, they were like, you know, if y'all leave anything in the apartment, they would charge y'all a fee. And I'm like, we don't want to catch no fees like let me go get you know the rest of these you know little bits of this and that you know out of there but i went in to do that and then before i walked out I, I opened this closet and we used to just keep like junk in there really we used to just keep like suitcases in there um like backpacks in there and just like my keyboard was in there just like stuff y'all it was kind of like a junk closet and so I was just like looking because like the walls, they were like so messed up. And I know y'all are thinking like, what the fuck does this have to do with you losing your ring, Alexandria? Where are you going with this? So listen, y'all, I'm like admiring the wall. And at the very bottom, I see a small gold circle. <laughs> it was my ring, my original ring, y'all like. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I can't even explain to y'all like how, how I was feeling. I immediately called Ryan and I'm like, you not gonna believe this. And I showed him the ring and his jaw just dropped. Yeah, so we were both really happy. <laughs> That, that goes to say we were both really happy because like I said, I really thought that I lost this ring and like I was so embarrassed about it. Not saying nothing about it. Yeah, I'm going to go in with the Mocha Mommy bronzer by Fenty Beauty and I really be using it. It's all over my face, y'all. My sis Shanice introduced this to me like a couple of years ago. I've been using it ever since. It just makes sure skin looks so good like brown 
I forgot to blend my little contour out. Usually I don't even contour like this because I feel like my cheekbones are already huge. Um, but yeah, it's a special occasion. So yeah, y'all, I found my ring. <laughs> And I am so happy. I don't feel like such an F up how I was feeling about myself. Honestly, I don't even know if I would be telling this story um, if I didn't find my ring. I think I still would have been very embarrassed. And yeah, I think I would have been very embarrassed. But it's okay, y'all. It's okay. <laughs> I think I want like some glitter or something. I don't know. I It's crazy that I'm even doing this video, y'all. This is so unplanned. Because I was supposed to be in Egypt right now. Like, Ryan and I um, had tickets to go to Egypt. And... So yeah, Ryan and I were supposed to go to Egypt and we get everything taken care of and we are in Dallas because that's where we were flying out of. We get to the airport and we get to the front of the line to check in. And they basically tell us that we have the wrong test. We had the right test because you have to have like a PCR test or a rapid antigen test. Um, we had those, but they either had to have like a stamp or a QR code because neither one of us, you know, we don't have the shot. So, um, yeah, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I cried. I was very upset. I'm a crier. I'm a huge crybaby. Like, yeah, I was just very upset. I don't know if I'm gonna wear my hair down or up yet. I don't know. I'll be back whenever I get dressed or whatever, so. Hey, yeah. hey did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah, I hear what? Bro, look, the pool is shooting water all up, nigga. Look. Come on, come look. <laughs> you funny. Put your shirt, because Coach Jackson in my hair. Bro, you go this So y'all want me to come out there no more? I mean, you can see all the damage and shit. It was like a boom. You didn't hear it? It was like, doom. I went downstairs to get him. It was like, doom. Then the water just started shooting. All in the air. Oh. All the cars were wet. All the cars are wet? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, mama. <laughs> hey, you funny. <laughs> Let her know how this is, right? What you doing here? Hi, Chloe. Oh, it's pretty. I gotta take a picture of that. Hold on. Hey, Mom. Hey. Hey, Vince. Vince. <laughs> Why you always do that awkward look? You be like. <laughs> Hey. I got kids. <laughs> Where's Chloe? Oh, oh, this hey. is so Man, pretty. Is kind of hard. Huh? That's a Pandora. Yeah, so I, pretty. I get y'all a little bit. Oh, it has a happy birthday and a graduation cap. Thanks. This is cute. I want to wear it right now. Be careful. I don't think that's the right hole. No, I don't think you had it in the hole. Yeah, but it got to be in the hole perfectly. Yeah, look 
at my bracelet. It's so cute. Oh, my parents are so cute. <laughs> I didn't even, I never even known that. What's that? That they use. Have I ever ordered those? I got my lemonade. That was the weakest candle blow out I ever seen in my life. Don't, you can't hate, be a hater all your life. <laughs> this is my birthday cake. Thank you so much, babe. This is so cute. And I think everything is edible. Like, even this is edible. Even the $100 bill, y'all, is edible. Yummy, this is so cute. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Alexander. Happy birthday to you. I promise you. And I'm sure this is edible. I'm sure the every. Name, no, the not, the, not the name, but um, yeah, the picture. The picture is edible? Yeah, I'm sure it is. Wow. Is it good? Bloody paper. What would you mean that? I can't be paper. What does all? No, I promise you. Now that's got to be. This, you can't eat that. Yeah. That's not edible. Those dollar bills are probably edible. This is not edible. But this? The picture? Yes. No you way. can definitely take a bite of that. No way. This, the dollar bills too, yes. They're edible? Yes. They no, this have picture got plastic in there. Okay, well everything except for that plastic part. Hold on, see that, that has plastic too. But these, Wait, it's it's edible. Cause I ate, I just ate that. Ready to eat a piece of that? <laughs> it dissolved in my mouth. Hey, thanks for coming, mommy. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Say hey to my mama, y'all. Hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> My camera's foggy. <laughs> we made it. We came. We showed up. Have we fun. conquered. We love y'all. Love you. Take picture from the car. Because she still happens to be my other pictures. Hey y'all, honestly, I don't know where this, I don't know where any of this is at. I don't know where this vlog is. I don't know, I don't know anything. Um, yeah, I don't know if I got discouraged or um, school has definitely been taking up so much of my time. Uh, it's, it's just been really stressful and I've just been trying to focus honestly on school. Um, but right now I'm so excited. I was like, let me vlog this. I'm so excited because I'm going to get my belly button pierced. Um, where's my money at? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, why the money didn't come out the machine? 
<laughs> I am going to get my belly button pierced or re-pierced. Um, I had it pierced before, but I don't know why I took my piercing out and never put it back in. So I think the hole has closed up. I could probably fit an earring through there or whatever, but that's not big enough for a belly button ring. And I really want my belly button ring back. So I am going to um, black ink. Black ink, y'all. Y'all know what black ink is, the one that you be seeing on TV. But it's black ink Houston, so I'm so excited for that, y'all. I said I'm going to get my belly button repaired, repaired, right? So I wanted to show y'all um, what my belly button is looking like right now. Um, I heard that it was gonna hurt a little more because they have to go through. I guess the scarring or whatever, but don't judge my don't judge my fat right now, y'all. I'm a little I'm a little thick right now, okay? So this is my belly button. This is where it was pierced last time. I don't know if y'all can see the little hole, but that's where it was at. So I I really hope that whoever the piercer is can just put it right back in the same spot and keep it moving so hopefully I get to vlog um, I'll let y'all know if it hurts or not when I first got my belly button pierced when I was like 16 I think I got it when I was 16 yeah I got it when I was six yeah I think I got it when I was 16 maybe 17 maybe 16 I don't really know but whenever I first got my belly button pierced y'all it did not hurt at all literally didn't feel it so Black ink, ooh, hi, sorry. Hello, how are you? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, this is a band from Black Ink. Wow, he is really up in here. I just touched down, flight 102. I know it's late, but I'm calling you. Trying to see if I can come see you See, I know you're asleep But you're on my mind I'm wide awake And I want to stop by So can you get up and get out of the bed Cause I want to see you And I've been wondering Can I come up? Come over, come over, come over Can I come over, come over, come over Yeah, tell me what the deal You ain't that far Just got my bags and I'm headed to the cure Say yes and no, cause I'm on the road Just wanting to hold you, embrace you, want to look at you and tell you how much I love you, I want you, I need you, I miss you. Come over, come over, come over, can I come over? Come over, come over, yeah. To change baby, it. My boy about to change it for me though. Over, we about to get it right. Oh baby, I just wanna really come on over. I just wanna really come on over. I just wanna really 